his aims, we've made our intentions. And then, subhanAllah, you know, as soon as you hit the car and on the road, back down to Sydney, these intentions start to get questioned. Shaitan comes to you. He whispers. And he tells you, you're never going to become a person. You know, you had that sincere intention, I want to do this, I want to do that. Shaitan comes to you and he smashes you. He tells you, you're never going to become that person. And then what? You start to believe yourself. And then what? He whispers to you, he tells you, you're, the, you're that sinner. You know, you commit this sin and that sin. How are you going to become up there? You're never going to get up there. Look at you. And then we believe it. And this is a big problem. You know, subhanAllah, we have this negative perception. A negative connotation. That we will never be up there. We will never be that person who changes the ummah. And then subhanAllah, you know, we just sit in our positions. We don't change. And little that we do. Little that we knew that in our, our pious predecessors were probably even worse than us. And they changed the world. They changed the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fatsu Sultasa la'allahum ya takfiya tafakkaroon. He says in the Quran, narrate to them. Narrate to them the stories so they can think and contemplate. We look at the example of al fidayl ibn Iyal. This person was a thief. He was a high robber. Back in the days when someone would travel, they would jump in the car, they would go walking. They're on their horses and they're walking in the desert. You know, that's very hard. Very slow as well. And all, along these tracks, there are highway robbers. And it was quite common back then. And this highway robber, I feel like, you know, he was known. And he was feed. Everyone knew him. He was that gangster. You know. So anyways, this Al-Fulad Ibn he also used to have these bad habits of Climbing up houses and stealing from these houses at night. He was very sneaky as well. So SubhanAllah, once at night he was climbing up. And as he was climbing this house, he's ready to steal something. He's committing a sin. He's ready to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as he's up there, he hears a person inside the house praying to Allah. He's praying to Allah. The Hajjul prays. And in his prayer, he says the, the, the verse in the Quran, Alam Yahdi Ladina Amanu and Taksha Abu Ubum Lidikri Lahi Oma Nazarim Oma Nazarim al Haq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse, He says, Isn't it time? Isn't it time for those believers? You know, we're all believers here. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing those who believe in Allah, but they disobey Him. They transgress against Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Alam ya illadina amanu an taqshaqu bilbuhum that their hearts become soft, that their hearts become soft to the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And Al Fulayl ibn Ayyub, right there and then, when he was up there, was so moved, and he knew that Allah subhanahu wa taala was addressing people like him. This ayah was addressing him; it was calling him. And then he says, Baba ya Rabb, this time, you know, this, he couldn't answer anything else. He says, Ya Allah, yes, this time. So from there and then. He made his decision and he had that aim and he had that goal. What did he become? He became a great scholar. A great scholar. From what? A thief. A highway robber. He used to steal from people. And everyone used to fear him because he was a gangster. He had no, he had no worth in his life. And then what? He becomes a scholar. 